All right, now to a woman who says she was nearly locked out of her brand new home by an employee for the builder after the woman closed on the house. The builder says it was all a big misunderstanding, but the police are telling us a different story. Seven Action News reporter Kim Russell is in Livingston County getting to the bottom of it all. This is the Phillips family. They have been excited for a new chapter. After the long process that is building a house, they closed on the build and got signed waivers of liens. They were paid in full by the bank. The bank paid all that? They paid all of it. Tiffany Phillips says she started moving in. Then on March 30th, she got a call from the builder saying despite closing, they owed more money. She says she asked for proof. A few hours later, her camera system notified her the builder's employee was in her backyard. She called him. Why are you at my home? And he goes, give me the code. He said, because I'm getting in one way or another. He told me specifically he was going to lock me out until I paid them the money. Tiffany, as surveillance video shows, called police who responded. I reached out to that worker who told me he was following orders. His boss, Josh Doyle from Homes by Josh Doyle, later called me. You know, I think this is all very valuable. Is it okay if I just put you on speakerphone and record it? Doyle refused to allow me to record him, but told me there must be a misunderstanding. The house was just being locked up so it would be safe until the builder gave a homeowner orientation to protect it for the customer. After talking to the homeowner and the contractor on the phone, it really was just a situation of she said, he said. But they aren't the only ones that were involved. Police were called. So I came and talked to the police chief about what investigators say went down. What did the man tell police when they got there? Uh, he told them that that his his employer had sent him there to change the locks because the homeowner owed uh, more money uh, and hadn't paid it yet. Unadilla Police Chief David Russell says police gave the building company a trespassing warning. They can't just take it upon themselves, you know, to, to take your property. Phillips says she is speaking out because she has learned through social media other people have had similar experiences with builders and did not know their rights. I feel like everybody needs to know that this is just not okay. The police chief tells me it is appropriate to call police in such a situation because these type of matters should be settled in court. In Livingston County, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Lesson learned, good to know, thank you Kim.